everybody today we are going to build a uh, something called as a book sharing app and we're going to start from the very basics and code all along the way make a lot of mistakes and learn from it so to do that uh, i'm going to start by creating a new directory which is literally empty and i'm going to open my favorite code editor which is vs code and let's start from there so first file i'm ever going to create is the readme file and uh, here we're gonna start with you know describing what we want to do and it's gonna be all from scratch so what we are trying to do is a book sharing app uh, so th this is as I said it's gonna be built ground up and the goal of this project is you know to learn Python learn Python in a non syntactic way so basically what we're going to do is not understand the syntax, but understand the logic of how to build an app. Okay. So to learn Python in a non-syntactic way. So that's the whole our goal. So what are we going to build at the end of this is a app. So the features of the app are going to be one. You can list your books, right? And you can add new books. And if your friend or someone asks for a book, you can remove a book from your list. So this is the basic understanding, right? Remove books from the list. So this is pretty much what we want to do today. And to do that, we need, obviously, we are going to do it in Python. So we need a Python file. So if you have gone through previous tutorials, Python has its own shell and it would look something like this. So if you fire up Python, then you will have something like this, where you can go and type and try out a bunch of things. These are what you call shells, right? Here you can run a quick Python program very easily, run a for loop or create a list or read a file to just play around with these things. But when you want to actually write a program, what you do is you create a file. So I'm going to create that file right now, which I'm going to call app.py. Uh, you can literally call this anything. So we have the app.py file ready. Once we have this ready, let's try a couple of things and see if it's working. Right? The first ever program anybody would ever want you to write is hello world. So hello world is no longer anything. So we have hello world here. So let's get out of this Python shell. So now we are in Python shell. From Python shell, you can execute Python commands, but not Python files. For you to execute python files you have to exit it and inside book app there is app.py so inside book app there is app.py so what i'm going to do is python app.py in the terminal that would give me the hello world okay so we have things up and running everything is working fine so once that's there uh, we have three features to implement one is to list your books one is to add new books one is to remove books right so let me add that here so and these are going to be our pointers once we are done with uh, all this we can remove them so i'm going to add it as a command uh, and say call it to do so to do number one to do number two and to do number three right so these are what we call as python comments so python comments if you run it so we added the comments now if you run the app literally nothing happens because these are not python uh, functions or anything of that sort these are just pointers for the developer to work with right first we're gonna list the books so when i say list the books uh, all i'm looking for is instead of zero one two three four five six seven eight uh, i'm looking for a list of my books right so i need a data structure where i can save all these books initially uh, so to start with uh, i'm going to have a my books variable which is going to be a python list so when you define an empty python list it's going to look something like this right this is an empty python list i don't have any books in there uh, and then i'm going to have a function called list books right so which is going to go through the my books whatever is there in the my books and um for that for book in my books it's going to print my book right so looks pretty good so first i have i don't have any books at all and then uh, i'm going to have a function to list my books so in, just in case if i have any book it will actually list all those books now let me call uh, the list books function itself 
right? Uh, what we have here is the function definition and it does not do anything. So before even going there, let's see what we have right now. Again, uh, yeah, so it literally printed nothing, which means nothing has happening, which means something is happening here. There is a mybooks variable that's not getting printed. There is a function which is never getting called. Now we actually go and call this function and see if anything is getting printed. So as we expected, there are like no books, so nothing is getting printed. So let me add one of my favorite books of all time. So let's say I have only one book, right, to get started with. So it, it goes ahead and prints that book alone. So let me add a couple of more books here, right? Um, something like, let like us, what do you make it? And what else? Mm, um, power of habits yeah power of habits so these are a couple of books and see if you look at it now it prints it as and when you go and add a bunch of books it keeps printing it for you and uh, when you're writing a python code uh, the way it looks is kind of very important so when it, whenever i write, write a list i'll just make it come to a new line and align it properly you can also do it the hard way by you know doing it yourself or you can do an automatic formatter so now we have my books and we have a function which can list books but what if i want to add a new book so let me add that function now right uh, add a book um when you want to add a book you have to give it the details of the book right so unless i know what book to be added i cannot add it so i need what book it is so that is being taken in a parameter and to add it to my books i have to do my books dot append so append is something that adds the existing item to the end of the list so that's there now uh, again as i said this is just a function definition it's not a function call so you have to actually call before uh, before that before for anything to work right so i'm going to add a new book and as far as now we are only dealing with the book titles and not the author or its isbn number or anything of that sort so to add book what i'm going to do is i'm going to attend an other uh, book title now that can be shurog okay so this is another book uh, about nike so we have add book and we have this books, right? So add book will add a uh, shoe dog to the current list that we already have and list books will just list it. So let's see if that works. So it perfectly works right now. So I can just keep adding books. Let's say I have another list of books. Uh, I get like four books from my friends, right? I have new books, uh, which is sort of like, mm, let me say, uh, loan shots. Um, loan shots um hundred ways to motivate to you and uh, secret wish list right so i have like bunch of new books and i want to add all of them now what would i do is i would write another for loop and take each book and add it to the existing book right so what if so if you have just one book then what you do is you append and if you have more than one books, what you do is you extend your existing list, right? So if uh, your book, if your instance of book is a string, then what you have to do is, as usual, just append it. But else if the instance of your book is a list then what you have to do is you just have to extend the existing list extent of your book so what we have done right now is check whether book is just a string if it's just a string it's one book and then what happens is it just appends to the existing list if it's a list which is our new books right then what it's gonna do is it's gonna extend the existing list so uh, let's copy this again and put it over here and in add book we'll 
send the new books list and we will list it again right so what happens when you are doing this list you will have four books when you do list list books along with shoe dog you should have uh, four five six seven seven books okay so let's run that okay instance okay instance if not undefined instance of is instance sorry so the function is is instance that is is instance okay i might keep doing yeah is instance right so there you go so if you look at it right now uh the first list that is first it prints the four books next it prints all of the books so no matter you send just one book or multiple books it's gonna get added so that's taken care of now um, coming to the third part where someone comes in and asks you for a book and you have to give that to them right you just share books or exchange books or something of that sort so basically it's not in your list anymore it's in someone else's list so what i'm gonna do is <coughs> excuse me i'm gonna write to remove book uh, again for me to remove the book i have to know which book you have to remove right so i have to take a book name uh, since we are still de dealing with the books and um, i have to find the book uh, for that i exactly dot find okay at this point i don't know which function to call so i am going to use our friend uh, google to actually find that for me find an item in list python so that's there so that's a commonly used query uh, okay so the, the index so whenever we are dealing with lists we are going to deal with indexes so dot index of the book right so this will give us the index of the book right and once you have the index what you have to do is you can just delete uh, my books of index of the book so what are we doing here we are finding the index index is nothing but uh, the number given to the item in the list so to actually understand this let's go ahead and see what indexes are I'm going to just command this out so this is not getting executed and let's see what indexes are so if i say my okay if i say print of my books of one right so it prints the book in position number one that means this is position number zero every item in the list is identified by its index which starts from zero so that's basically zero one and two so but what happens if i just say my books of three then it would throw me something called as an index error which means the number you have mentioned is not there in the list so i am going to give you an index error so what we are trying to do in remove books is find now that we have the string we are trying to trying to find the best position uh, of the book in the list and once i have the position i'm just going to delete that item from the list and life is going to move on just like that so next uh, we have a ha uh, now um, we have added one book we have added list of books now let me say my friend asked for atomic habit now i'm going to remove the book atomic habits and these are case sensitive so you can't play around with this so if i gave atomic habits in um, a caps h caps then you have to give it in the same way so once i remove the book i list books again and let's see so i'm not going to list books again here i'm going to just add one book add a lot of books and um, then remove one book right and then finally i'm going to list books so let's see if this works so what happened here was atomic habit is removed from the list and the rest of the things are printed new things are added and everything is working smooth and fine so there are few things that we learned in this exercise one is um let's say let's see what all we've learned right one is we learned lists and what is that is uh, second thing we learned is functions so and what function calls are 
right and next thing we learnt is conditionals conditionals which are if or else statements um what else did we learn so this is basically if else statement and um type of variables so we learned a couple of them uh, we are working with string and list here and then uh, list when you talk about list you obviously have to talk about indexes we talked about that and we also talked about function calls so this pretty much covers and so obviously we talk, when we talk about types of variables we also talked about variables so this pretty much with this pretty much you can write uh, any python program there's one more uh, add on to this which are dictionaries right so how to do a book app the same book app with dictionaries we'll see it in the next video until then thank you so much for watching stay tuned